Hi everyone, this is 2022 Incarnation Daily Devotion. I'm Pastor CJ, and today is February 3rd, Thursday. Hopefully this devotion may lead you to listen to the Word of God this morning and let your heart be focused on God every day. Then, let's get started. February 3rd, Thursday. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 8. Now I would remind you, brothers and sisters, of the good news that I proclaimed to you, which you in turn received, in which also you stand, through which also you are being saved, if you hold firmly to the message that I proclaimed to you, unless you have come to believe in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I in turn had received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. Then he appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at one time, more of whom are still alive, though some have died. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared also to me. Amen. Preaching is the proclamation of good news. This statement represents the core message of my teaching and preaching. Many preachers, perhaps even most, will concur with my statement, but few of them interpret the meaning of that good news in the same way. In fact, Paul's description of the substance of the good news, namely the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus, is the same as that presented by many of today's preachers. And those events taken together are indeed good news. But is the memorial of the past enough? Is that repetition sufficient for these days or for any day? For me, the good news that bears proclamation at every event of preaching is God's active transformative presence in human life. Paul's declaration to the Corinthians exemplifies the truth of that definition. In his summary of the good news, he names Jesus' active presence in several lives, including his own. In each case, the life Jesus touched was transformed in some way. Paul sums up his argument by recounting the transformative impact of Christ's call on his own life. He wants to make clear to his audience his belief in the incarnate power of the gospel to transform the lives of those who accept Christ's call to believe in the good news. Jesus' appearance to the apostles and to those who followed his teachings had consequences for their lives. His coming fulfilled the divine promise, and his presence changed the state of things for those who accepted his invitation to receive the good news. The message for today's church is the same as it was for the Corinthian church. Believe in the good news of Jesus Christ, and watch the change happen. Let's pray. Life-sustaining God, inspire us to receive your good news. May it change our hearts and lives to be more closely in accord with your will. Amen. Once again, thank you for joining this morning, and I hope to meet you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.